Joske Peter, CEO of Muwattupura Urban Bank, has resigned following a controversial eviction proceeding. Gobi Kotamurikil, chairman of the bank, said that the bank had accepted the resignation. The bank CEO's resignation comes after the corporation minister V N Basavan ordered action against bank employees who evicted two minor girls from the house against government policy. Ajesh, the house owner of the sealed house, said action should be taken against other employees as well. Meanwhile, Joske Peter said the resignation was personal. He said he would respond on the matter later. The bank employees union claimed that the eviction process was in compliance with all the rules. However, the corporation minister rejected this argument. Joske Peter stepped down after submitting his resignation letter to chairman and CPM state committee member Gobi Kotamurikil on Wednesday noon. I am quitting so as to avoid any kind of action against the officials who had not committed any lapses, Peter told the media persons. The Muwatupura Joint Registrar of Cooperative Societies submitted an initial report stating that the bank officials had failed to follow the state government's direction to arrange alternative shelter for those persons evicted. Following this, the minister ordered action against the officials. On Saturday, the officials had attached the property of Ajesh Kumar in Paipra after asking his twin daughters to vacate their house. Later, MLA Matthew Kudal Nadan, along with local residents, smashed open the lock and took the children inside. He also stated that he would pay back the loan dues. Corporation Minister V N Vasavan said the government policy on such issues is that when attachment procedures are being taken against people who have only three or four cents of land, housing facilities should be arranged for the affected parties. Nearly four days after the CITU claimed to have repaid his loan in a face-saving attempt, Ajish Kumar said he was yet to get any communication from the CPM-controlled cooperative bank on the settlement of the account. This CIT move, which was viewed as a face-saving attempt by the CPM, came after Congress MLA Matthew Kuralnadan and local residents broke the lock of the house sealed by the bank. I have not received any information from the bank. If the loan is repaid, they have to return the title deed of my property and other documents, said Ajish. News Desk, Kaumati Global. Thank you.